We're with Rod Johansson, President and CEO of Home Furniture, and Lou Fine, General Merchandise Ma General General Manager of the new Doc 86, which home opened February 1. Correct. Correct. Okay. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the concept and how it came about. Um, well, Doc 86 is an off-price retail environment. Um, we were watching things happening in in the industry and uh, felt that you know it was a. Uh, uh, definitely a viable concept and so uh, we concepted Doc 86 based on that. Well as you notice when you come into the main store uh, we do try to tell the story of what Doc 86 is. It's, it's a new concept new to the Twin Cities for our customers and some of the graphics that you'll see will starting with how, what is Doc 86? How did we get our name? Uh, going back to Prohibition and uh, the fact that uh, it was a code to uh, during the Prohibition. Again the 86 uh, we got a good deal uh, you'll see some of the graphics in the entryway showing uh, freight moves in bulk by uh, shipping, rail, trucks. We talk about the, the welcome to the movement, the mindset, a statement against uh, paying ridiculous prices, uh, a place where you can pay a good deal less and get a good deal more. And uh, we try to have a little fun with it. Now that's what we're talking about. Um, containers, a lot of, a lot of people may not uh, be aware of uh, what our, uh, our shipping rail container looks like, so we've got some right in here again to give the connotation of bulk. The uh, guest services area, this is where our customers would check out, and uh, just some of the graphics that are applied to the counter uh, look like the crates, again, trying to, to work with the bulk theme. Um, some of our uh, customer satisfaction policies, again, how did you get her name? Uh, some of the slogans on a good deal more uh, expressing the savings with this concept. Uh, two, if you can catch the logo over there, the bargain hunters welcome to paradise. When we opened Doc 86, one of our, uh, our goals with our hiring of the team we put together, we've got approximately 40 on our sales team, was to hire personalities and people. We wanted it to be a fun place, a unique place, a place where a customer would want to come back every week and to see what's new. And we've actually got people that, that have kind of got to know our people a little bit. Uh, we weren't necessarily looking for veterans in the furniture industry as much as the right personalities and, and the right people skills and we're teaching them the furniture business. Mm -hmm.